As an author who writes characters of color, one of the difficulties that I've run into is finding good stock photos for my cover art. So I pretty much had to learn how to create my own characters by taking existing stock photos, swapping heads, darkening skin tones, and all that good stuff. So if you want to learn how I do this, keep watching this video. Hey guys, my name is Gabby and you are watching Brown Lady Publishing TV. This is where you come to learn tips and tricks to help you in your writing and publishing journey. For those of you who are new to my channel, I write contemporary and historical romance under the pen name G.S. Carr, and soon I will be writing sci-fi and paranormal romance under the pen name Oriana Wild. So as I mentioned in my introduction, sometimes writing main characters of color can be kind of difficult because of the stock photos for your cover art. A lot of them generally um, don't have really good selection when it comes to characters of color, black people, Indian people, Asian people, just anything. And so one of the things that I've had to run into, especially with my historical covers, is having to create my characters. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll find like a historical woman and I love it, love her positioning, her pose, her clothes, whatever, and then I will chop off her head, swap out the head for a different head, and then retouch the skin tone to match the head, obviously, so that I have the character that I need. So in this video, I'm just going to do a step-by-step and -step how I do that so you guys can follow along and pause whenever you need to. And you know, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment for me so that I can go back and answer them. I will definitely go back and do that. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with everything that I post. All right, well, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So today we're going to be recreating this image. I've already done like a rough, obviously, um, one of it before. Um, and so we're going to be making her from this image and this image combined together. And as you can see, I've already made um, my selections for the sake of time, but in order to do that, you just go to your selection brush tool, select your lady, refine it, you know, make sure it's all good and stuff like that. But I've already done that, so we're just going to do a control C for copy. We're going to paste our lady here. We're going to select our move tool so we can just make it a little bit. There we go. Take up our full project screen. Um, same thing with our lady's head. Control C. Um, paste that flicker on in there. Alright, so now I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can make sure that our ladies line up together. Okay, I'm trying to make sure like they're proportionate, you know what I mean? Like the head sizes are about the same which they are, which is awesome. We're gonna align these two ladies up here. -ish. Awesome. And so now, um, as you can see, we have our uh, our original lady's head kind of popping out from the back. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to get rid of our unselect our um, black lady's head real quick and then go to this one and we're just going to create a mask layer right there so making sure that only your mask layer is selected we're going to go to our brush tool and then make sure your um, color is black and as you can see what that does is it allows you to erase um, parts of the picture and it's a non-destructive layer so like if you um, get rid of the mask isn't that gone gone I need to increase the size of my brush. Okay, so we're just gonna erase our head. I'm gonna increase my hardness to 100%. I'm just gonna just get rid of that. Oh. So I'm gonna leave her neck because we didn't need that for the blending purposes. head as well. Um, brush tool is selected of course but I'm gonna make this smaller now that we're doing a little bit more behind me. So for this one though I'm actually gonna bring the hardness back down to um, zero because it helps uh, 
pretty much your hardest is that like it makes like really harsh lines when it's down to zero it makes it look like an easier thing. chin a little bit it's absolutely okay again this is a non-destructive layer when you do the mask so all you do is just swap your brush back uh, the color to white awesome sauce now one of the things that I will say um, with these two pictures is this one definitely has a lot more shadow in it um, which is going to make it a little bit harder for the blending and everything like that. So I actually want to adjust that. So I am going to do my uh, brightness contrast adjustment. Okay, so I just select that. But I only want it to be on her head right now. You can see it's going to be over the entire picture. I only want it on her head. So I'm just going to drag that adjustment underneath our head. And double click it again. And it pops back up and so we're just gonna play with this a little bit okay so we brought the brightness up about the contrast down and as you can see that definitely did a lot to help with kind of that darkness and I'm gonna let you guys see what that looks like without it before and after so that's without it, like you see the picture is very dark um, and then with it, it's uh, a lot brighter and as you can see just in general it already like blends very well with the lady beneath um, very very well. So let's just zoom out so you can kind of see her and everything like that. Okay. Awesome. So now what we are going to do is we want to obviously match the skin tone and they already kind of match a little bit so we're just going to be doing like basic adjustments and stuff like that. So um, what we want to do is we want to select um, her skin pretty much. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our color picker tool and this is just going to be trial and error to be honest so we're just going to pick selection of her skin oh, goes a bit of a darker spot I'm gonna do that Watch out. Um, and just for the sake of making this a little bit easier for me to work with we're gonna get rid of her head for a quick second and we're going to now go back to our selection brush tool and then we're gonna select her neck So next what we're going to do is going to go to our rectangle tool. I'm just going to create a rectangle. And as you can see, it's filling it in with the color that we selected from our color picker, which um, from her skin or whatever. I want this um, rectangle only to apply to the piece that we selected. So what we're going to do is we're going to create it as a mask layer. Right here, and as you can see, it only does the piece that we selected. Now, right now, the rectangle is on a normal blend mode, and uh, we're gonna change that blend mode. As you can see, depending on the different blend modes that you do, um, you know, it has a different effect and all that kind of stuff. But we're gonna use the overlay blend mode, okay? And now we're gonna bring her head back. Into this. And as you can see, it's kind of covering the part of the hand, which we don't want it to do. So we're actually just going to bring the rectangle back one. There we go. Okay. And uh, we no longer need this uh, neck piece to be selected, so we can actually escape that. Okay. And now, as you can see, 
the rectangle is not 100%, the skin tone is not 100% um, in line and everything like that. And also the neck is off just a little bit, so we're just going to just make some adjustments here. So. As you can see, that is more better. I better align their their neck and heads together. Just a little bit. Okay. Actually, I know I said overlay, but I'm looking at fabric. And I'm kind of liking the average a little bit more for the blend mode. It just blends a lot better. Um, so we're gonna go back to. Um, so I changed the rectangle blend mode to average. And we'll go back to the neck, the mask layer for her head. So you can already see, um, just from using the average and all that other good stuff, that they do blend very well already. And um, but we can play with it a bit more. So like, let's just say you wanted to, um, it, you know, it's 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 definitely great. But you want to play with it a little bit more, you can definitely do an adjustment and do a curves adjustment. Okay, and that pops up. But again, we only want the curves adjustment to apply to the. Uh, rectangle, so we're going to pull it underneath the rectangle. Okay, and then we'll just click on it again. And then open that sucker back up. And then we can just play around with the curves adjustment a little bit more. darkened up the skin a little bit and now obviously you'll follow this like, same exact thing for the rest of her skin so her shoulders um, and then her arms that are busy, and everything like that now for the sake of, of time I'm not going to go into all that because the next video will be a bajillion years long but again you just follow those same steps and you can really the and then uh, you will be able to create black people or whatever you want to do so as you saw in the video, the biggest element to this is just making sure to adjust and play around until you find the right balance and tones. Of course, this is just one of many different ways to do this. This is how I learned to do it. But if you know of a different way, a better way, please make sure to leave it in the comments below. I really would love to hear from you guys and to see what happened when you tried these techniques or if you have different techniques. And of course, if you like this video, please make sure to share it so someone else can learn a little something. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can be up to date with any other tips and tricks I have to help you along on your publishing and writing journey. So until next time, happy writing guys.